Hey guys, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the another manufacturing process which is mainly used to manufacture the hollow plastic bottles, hollow plastic cavities, plastic items, plastic products. This particular process is known as the blow molding. So guys, in this video, we are, we are going to talk about the blow molding, its types, its application, its advantages and disadvantages. So guys, if you are new here on my channel, Ingenious Academy, please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy and guys please please hit the bell icon and uh, you'll get an instant notification whenever i upload a new video so guys let's begin with our today's topic that is the process of blow molding So guys, let's understand the manufacturing process in the blow molding. So the first of all, the you know the granules or the pellets are heated and uh, to form a molten uh, molten shape, and then that particular molten plastic is then you know formed to into the hollow hollow tube. Okay, and that particular tube is known as the parison. So guys, over here this particular heated hollow tube is very much important, and this hollow tube is formed which is known as a parison so parison word is over here is very much important so this particular parison is then placed vertically between the two mold walls which is having a, you know the uh, mold cavity we can call it as a mold cavity also this particular uh, parison held vertically into the this particular mold and then the air or the compressed air is you know is flows allows to flow through the you know, through the particular parison then the parison it will get inflates and it will take the shape of the mold mold cavity so after a solidification we'll get a desired and final product and then after solidification the ejector pins opens up the you know these two mold mold walls opens up and we'll get a final product that is our plastic bottle so basically this is the manufacturing process of the blow molding so guys this particular blow molding is suitable for the plastics such as the uh, such as the LDP low density polyethylene HDPE high density polyethylene polypropylene PP also it is suitable for the PVC polyvinyl chloride so guys these are you know some of the commonly used uh, polymeric materials to manufacture which is uh, mainly used in this particular process of blow molding so guys as we have seen the process so let's check out the types of this particular blow molding so guys uh, this particular manufacture manufacturing process blow molding is you know it is having three types basically and these three types are depends upon the types of manufacturing of the parison the types of manufacturing of this hollow tube so guys this hollow tube can be manufactured through the extrusion through the injection molding and through the stretching also so guys over here these three types are here the first one is the extrusion blow molding so over here in this case extrusion blow molding the extruder uses you know the cylinder rotating screw assembly is there and due to that rotating screw you know the molten plastic is forced and it is you know it is squeezed against a die which is having a die opening and this uh, due to that particular setup will get a plastic hollow tube and guys this particular hollow tube which is known as a parison this can be manufactured by this particular extrusion method so again next this particular uh, you know the parison is held vertically between the two mold valves and uh, this uh, you know the compressed air allows to pass from this particular uh, parison and this parison gets you know inflates between the two between the mold and will get a final product the compressed air over here the you know the pressurized air the air pressure varies between the 50 to 100 uh, 50 to 100 psi over here which is comparatively less than that uh, the air pressure which is used in this injection molding process so guys you know this particular process uh, like the extrusion molding is very commonly used and you know it is very economical process also the rate of you know good uh, the rate of the production very much increases due to this particular process as the setup is very easy you'll get a you'll get a product and you'll get a you know uh, you can get a 
like the you know you can get a simple parts or the products can be manufactured very easily by this particular process so guys the next one is the injection blow molding process so guys in the injection blow molding process will need a will need a separate mold to manufacture the parison so guys to manufacture parison is nothing but the hollow tube and for to manufacture that particular hollow tube by injection molding we also need a separate mold to manufacture this particular hollow tube so guys over here you know the as there is a separate uh, core is required to produce the hollow shapes also uh, you know the parison mold is required over here in this case so ultimately the cost of the final product gets increases so guys this particular method is very least used amongst the industries and however over here in this particular pro this particular process you know we can produce you know complex shape complex cavities can be easily formed over here in this process also uh, you know having a finest cross sectional area will get a finest cross sectional area or else the finest quality over here in this particular process but this particular process is not suitable for the mass production it takes more of the time and it is also a time consuming process so guys moving ahead next is the stretch blow molding process so whenever we'll get a parison okay from injection molding we get what output we get from injection molding that particular parison is held vertically and then it is heated and stretched again into you know the mold cavity between the two walls it is again heated and again then it is stretched so guys due to that you know the durability of the particular plastic gets increases so guys after stretching after stretching the plastic gets inflated against the mold and will get a final product upon solidification so that was the three types basically the first one is the extrusion blow molding the second one is the injection blow molding and the third one is the stretched blow molding process so let's talk about now the advantages and disadvantages of the blow molding process the so first of all the advantages of the blow molding process is such that it can be you know it is very easy you don't need any extra labors over here in this process of blow molding this particular blow molding setup can be easily optimized for the mass production we will get a mass production of higher quantities can be manufactured within time and also in this process there are very much less chances of generating scrap so guys that was the you know the advantages of the blow molding process so now let's talk about the some of the disadvantages of the process you know as this can be optimized easily this ultimately it will consume more of your money hence it is you know high costly the first disadvantage is the you know it is a very high costly process so this is high costly process and you know the total machining uh, total high machining and setup cost is there also guys you know only symmetrical objects can be manufactured by using this particular process that if there is any asymmetrical object we cannot manufacture that particular object so that is over here this is the another disadvantages also you know in terms of surface finish we will get a poor surface finish over here in this case of blow molding process so guys that was all about the process of blow molding we have seen the actual working of the blow molding we have also seen the advantages and disadvantages along with the certain types of blow molding so guys i hope you understood the process of blow molding if i miss anything in this video please comment below and tell me what i have missed in this video also guys please like my video and uh, guys please share my videos on the social networks and your friends and engineering groups also so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my engineering channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this video